Space is not empty. It's full of objects. Most of the ones that smack into Earth are tiny, and they burn up in our atmosphere. But even small asteroids that get through have had devastating effects. You may remember there was a, an impact over Siberia three or four years ago uh, that was caused by something that was only 20 meters in size or so. In fact, a private foundation has begun raising money to build a satellite, the Sentinel, that can track smaller so-called city killer asteroids. These hit the Earth about every 100 to 200 years. So flip a coin. That's the odds that somewhere on Earth, during your lifetime, it's going to happen again. NASA even has a department called Planetary Defense. No, really, that's its name. And the agency tracks asteroids larger than a kilometer across, those big enough to end human civilization. Now, the agency has greenlit the next phase of the DART project, which will try to push a nearby asteroid called Didymos B off course. The asteroid that we're talking about is about the same size as the ship you see behind me, just shy of 200 meters long. And I am roughly the same size as the projectile they're going to smack into it. Now, in this context, that seems ridiculous, right? I mean, for me to just kick as hard as I can is going to have no effect at all on this ship. But in the vast openness of space and the slipperiness of a vacuum, smacking me into that at something like three times the speed of a bullet, well, you get the effect you want. Basically, it would be using a spacecraft to ram the incoming object and change its orbit so it would not hit. Um, so this, this would be a kind of a dress rehearsal uh, for, a, for a show we hope never to stage. The test will take place in 2022. Here's hoping we won't need to knock anything off course in the meantime. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.